everybody, it's that first Saturday of the month again, and we are on our way to Goodwill Store number two. We were running a little bit late today. We went into Goodwill Store number one, and there were no cards. Lines were all the way to the back of the store, and there was nothing really good to find. Uh, I'm running a little bit broke right now. I didn't work as hard as I could have on eBay, so funds are a little bit tight, but it's the first Saturday of the month. I can't exactly pass up me like, going to shopping. And Sonia, you are not going to be blowing spit bubbles. <laughs> Do you hear me? Okay. I've had enough of the spit bubbles. Why is that a little Children. It's not fun shopping with them, but... These aren't children. But you love having them close. Get to ask their yeah. opinions if they think this is good or not. Sometimes they even find the good stuff. It's like, how did you see that and I miss it? So that's always fun. Yeah. Alright. So, alright. So we are on our way to Goodwill Store number two. And I'm going to hope we find some good gems today because... I think I'm just going to look for the good gems and since money's a little bit tight, so we will see what we can find. And no. Children want to say hi. Hi! 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 Okay. Alright, so we will see you after Goodwill Store number two. Hey everybody, we just left Goodwill Store number two and children be were being super cranky so we stopped to have lunch. And now they're doing much better, because I didn't want everybody to see super cranky children. So, alright, here's what we got. A Friends Seen It, still in the original plastic wrap. Not sure if you can see that or not. I only paid $5, and it's selling on Amazon for $55. Uh, VCR DVD mount. It's been opened. The box has seen better days, but it's never been taken out. That is, I think I'm going to have to sell that as used because of the box, but even at that, it's still selling for $45. I got a VHS that was selling for, I think it was like $15. I only paid $0.50. Cents. A VHS, I don't know what that tape is. I hope I can get that off. But it's still in the plastic wrap, and it was selling for like 35 and that one was uh, still in the plastic wrap too. That one, I think that one was selling for twenty. Can't remember exactly. And I hope I don't lose that bag. There we go. Here, because we don't need to go chasing one. I know you don't want to go chasing one like we did last time. A KMFDM T-shirt. I don't know why they sell so well. It's a band T-shirt, so you gotta love it. But every time I come across. A KMFDM t-shirt, they sell for at least 20 So, that's at least one to keep your eye open for, KMFDM t-shirts. So, alright, I only spent like $10 at that Goodwill, so. Alright, that is Goodwill store number two, and we are on our way into Goodwill store number three. Alright everybody, here we are at Goodwill store number three, and again, we got a super long line, and I am only getting one item. And... It might not be much, but I'm only going to be spending 250 on it, but there's only, what was it, three at the Amazon warehouse, and they were going for like 112 So I figured I will wait in this long line to get my one item for $112. So, all right, that is Goodwill Store number three, and children are luckily not paying attention. And then we are on our way to Goodwill Store number four. Hey everybody, uh, we just left Goodwill store number four, and this is all I picked up out of that one. I've got a Saving a Species from SeaWorld. I only paid a dollar fifty for it, and evidently it's going for like thirty-five dollars on Amazon. Uh, the Petty Story. I don't even remember what that was going for, but I think it was like at least a ten-dollar profit. Uh, if I remember correctly, that was going for like. 60 or 65 for the PGA Golf Instruction Video Series. And Physio X 9.0. I can't even remember what that one was, but there had to be at least a $25 profit, if I remember correctly. Couple CDs. 
Christmas. It's that time of year. I forget what this was going for, but I know I had one before. I, if I remember correctly, I think at the time it was one of the first things that I sent off to Amazon, and it sold quickly. I think then I sold it for like ten dollars. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, another CD. I don't remember. I had to be looking at something wrong when I looked up this Nicholas Cage Wind Takers Wind Talkers from my phone it said it was going for 112 now nah, something had to be wrong but I only paid a dollar for it so I'm sure I can at the very least get my money back yeah that one's gonna be interesting to figure out uh, interactive physiology uh, you know, I already forget what that was. And W.T. Davidson. Evidently that was like uh, $35. And all of these are brand new. None of them have been opened. They are all brand new in the original package. And I didn't worry too much about continuing shopping anymore because we had some life-changing events and this is my living room state at the moment. We have... A whole bunch of completely reorganizing everything. I'll save you the story on what it all is, but that's two full boxes that are going to be for eBay. And that is two full boxes of stuff for Amazon. And Sonya's in a dress that she has to show off, so there you go. Alright, she's jumping around like a crazy person, and that's just books that are in such horrible condition, I can't even sell them. I mean, some they were like falling apart, uh, water damage, mold, yeah, no. The, I don't even remember where they came from, but they're just going away. And, oi. Old, 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 old lampshades. They're, the lamps are around somewhere, but they stopped making those back in the 1950s. But, alright, that is all, and don't forget, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. So I almost forgot, when we got home, we got the mail, and this doesn't happen very often, but it does happen once in a while. You'll get a package come back in the mail, evidently it was a new person who bought it, and they put down a wrong address and now I have to hope that I can get a hold of this person and say hey I got my item the item that you purchased last month back in the mail because I have a wrong address so they have a feedback score of one guess who that one is me so here's hoping that I can get a hold of them and figure out that what their actual address is otherwise I have to give them a full refund all right, that was all.